Cancer deaths are expected to rise globally despite advances in medicine and technology. But researchers at Stanford University School of Medicine have published a breakthrough study on cancer treatment. The researchers in the beginning stages, but has so far proven promising. Ashley Banks is with us with more on this tonight. Ashley? That's right, Ed. Now, researchers at Stanford University School of Medicine found that by injecting small amounts of two immune stimulating agents directly into solid tumors in mice, it eliminated all traces of cancer in the animals. This approach works for several different types of cancers, including those that arise spontaneously. The researchers say applying small amounts of these agents could serve as a rapid and inexpensive cancer or therapy that wouldn't cause adverse side effects, effects often seen with body-wide immune stimulation. So how does this work? Well, typically when a person has a cancerous tumor, their T cells will recognize the threat and attack the tumor. However, as the tumor continues to grow, it will find ways to suppress the T cells from doing their job. According to the study, by injecting small amounts of two immune stimulating agents into the tumor, it will destroy the tumor. In short, these agents will activate the T cells, reversing the effects the tumor originally had on them, making it easier for the body to fight off the disease. What's neat about this approach is once these T cells destroy the original tumor, they then search and destroy other identical tumors throughout the body, completely eliminating the threat of cancer. The researchers say that in pursuing this approach, 87 of 90 mice tested were completely cured of the cancer. The other three were cured once the procedure was completed for a second time. Researchers found this process worked well with breast, colon, and melanoma tumors. At this time, one of the agents is approved for use in humans. The other has been tested for human use in several unrelated clinical trials. A current clinical trial is expected to recruit 15 patients with a low-grade lymphoma. The lead researcher of the study, Ronald Levy, professor of oncology, says, quote, I don't think there's a limit to the type of tumor we could potentially treat as long as it has been infiltrated by the immune system. If approved, Stanford University researchers say both agents will be used to treat various types of cancer. The agents would be injected into cancer patients, destroying various tumors. Now, Ed, the researcher suggests that after treatment, as a precaution, surgeons should remove any evidence of cancer that may be left after treatment in order to prevent reoccurrence. It's amazing what research and development will do if they have more funds. Thanks, Ashley. You're Appreciate welcome. it.